Hey yo, what up people? This is your boy Jason J. Kicks and today you're coming with me to pick up the new Jordan 1 Green Glows. Another sleeper, I'm gonna call a sleeper because I like the shoe, but everyone is calling them bricks. Just that, you know me, I don't care about that man. I think the shoe is really clean and I want them to be part of my Jordan 1 collection with these um, bread toe color blocking. I need those. I show you my Jordan 1 bread toe color blocking collection. And whew, this one is such a slipper for real. I know the color is a color that we don't wear that often. I mean, it's kind of a really hard shoe to match, but I like it. I want it. And today we're going to pick up the shoes and for this one, I have to create some content with the shoe, but I want the shoe to make the content that I have to do, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get another pair later on the retail. Because I know this shoe is gonna hit the outlet very, very soon. So I want a shoe to use as a beat up. That's gonna be my, my today's pair, but I want to keep another one on ice because this is this is such a beautiful shoe for real. I mean, I think at this point you all have seen the shoe, but I think it's a really beautiful one. I don't recommend you to sleep on it. I mean, if you think you can wait for the shoe to go on sale, I think that's the smart choice, I guess. But if you pick the shoes up today, it's because you know how beautiful they really are. The color blocking is amazing in my opinion. This is probably the best color blocking in the Jordan 1 lineup. The, the color on the on the back and on the toe with that white panel and the black eyelets, I think it's a really beautiful color blocking. But if you pay attention to the shoes that you really like, not, not what other people think about the shoes on your feet, I think you can get some good shoe seating like the one I'm wearing today. Like, look at this. These are the Jordan 11 Gratitude. Everyone slept on the shoe the shoe sold out because it's a pair of Jordan 11s, but it took a long time for the shoe to sold out. And I catch these shoe for under retail. That's how good these shoes are. That's how dope they are. And if you know me, you know my opinion that for me, the Gratitude 11 is a better shoe than the Concord 11s are. And I say a better shoe, not the most classic, because I know, I know how classic the Concord 11s are, but damn, these shoes on my feet, a1 for sure for sure if you're new to the sneaker game i think the best advice that i can give you is stay true to yourself pay attention to what you really like then pay attention to what other people think when it comes to shoes because in the sneaker community there's a lot of high beasts like for real people who only want the shoe that go for stupid money on the retail market and this is a great example of a shoe that is super similar to another one that is going for a ton of money on the retail market but just because this one is going below retail people are not paying attention to this but these and the Jordan ones igloo are kind of the same shoe very very similar actually i like this one a little bit better but people only pay attention to the high price shoes that's why i'm telling you stay true to yourself go for what you like stop paying attention to what other people think about the shoes on your feet I'm always gonna stand by that. So, man, let me just get to Nike and pick up the shoes. That's what we're gonna do today, man. Stay here with me, cause I'm gonna give you a quick review on these shoes, show you how this baby's look and fit and everything. Stay here, cause this is gonna be a hell of a video if you like these shoes. So that was basically it. I already have the shoes right here. Now let me go back home and show you the shoes. And I'm back at the crib, guys. And here I have the box, the black one with these um, green glow Nike branding on it. The box looks nice and you know me. You know I'm a big fan of the matching boxes with the shoes because like I always said, it's very easy to identify the shoes when we have um, the colors of the shoe in the box. So let's see what we have inside. I mean, I already showed you the shoes early, but Let's see this one, my personal pair right here. These are nice, these are nice. 
I know everyone wants to slept on these, but me, sorry, I can't. I simply can't. Look at the beauty, man. Ooh, yes. These are beautiful. And these are even more beautiful in person, for real. These are hella nice, man. Damn it. Damn, these are dope, man. I love these shoes. I love these shoes, for real. You can call me like crazy or whatever these hypebeats want to call me because I'm loving these type of shoes, but what can I do, man? It's my favorite silhouette in a very beautiful colorway. Look at the shoe. Look at the shoe. The high beast, the high beast who don't want to really admit that they like these shoe because they know these are going on the retail right now. They are saying, I like them because um, they kind of look like the Tiffany blue. Uh, yeah, yeah, these are the, the closest that we're gonna get to a Tiffany shoe. So I like them just because the, the color is nice. I mean, it's a Tiffany color. Uh, super close to the Tiffany color, I gotta say, like, whatever, whatever. I like the shoe because it's a really beautiful shoe. And I gotta say, though, I kind of like this one more than the Jordan 3s, man. Like, the, the Green Glow 3s, I like this one more. I like this one more. I mean, of course, it's my favorite silhouette. So, ooh, what a beautiful shoe. These are sleeper, for real. These are straight sleeper. Best time to be a sneakerhead is right now because you can get shoes like these for on the retail. On Nike, Foot Locker, and all the retail store, this shoe is gonna go on sale very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that if you want to get these shoes. This is a great shoe to have, especially for the low price. Man, it can't go wrong with this one. For real, for real, for real. Just go to your local store and try to see these in person if you want to know what I'm talking about right here. So um, let me show you, man. Like, look at the shoe. The color on this one, this green glow color looks really beautiful, especially in person, looks really beautiful. And the quality of the shoe is actually really good as well. I really like the way the material feels. I mean, I think you can see that in camera. The tumble looking on the leather of the shoe is really nice, but also the filling of the leather. That, that's super, super nice in my opinion. This is, man, for real. This color blocking right here is, in my opinion, one of the best color blocking, probably the best color blocking that we have on the Jordan Light. Now for me is between this color blocking and this color blocking, the black toe color blocking and the bread toe color blocking. These two are my favorite color blockings in the Jordan lineup. And it's, it's very hard for me to decide between these two color blockings. And don't get biased because of the shoe. I know this is a better shoe right here, but the, the bread toe color blocking, this one right here is super nice as well. I'm talking about color blockings, not colorways. Don't get confused with that, man. Man, for me, these are equally good. Uh, it's, it's a tie right here. I love both of the color blockings, but man, I think Nike killed it with this one, for real, for real. The way they look, I, I, I didn't thought I was gonna like them, but not this much. I'm loving the shoe right now, man. I'm loving the shoe. When I saw my friend's pair, the one that I used for the, um, for the early review, that's when I realized I'm gonna go for these. I'm gonna go for these. I, I didn't have these on my radar. Actually, this shoe is under a lot of people's radar, but when I saw them in person, I was like, I wanna have them. And to be honest, the quality of my pair is actually better than my friend's pair, which is amazing for me, man. Like, oof, what a dope shoe, man. This one also include extra laces in that um, green glow color. I think they're gonna look fantastic with the green glow color laces. I'm gonna drop the on-fit look um, outside on the street. The on-fit look with a lace swap on this one. Probably tonight or tomorrow, stay tuned for that. I'm also going to include the white laces because I think the white laces are gonna look really good on the shoe, but we gotta wait till tomorrow for that full um, lace swap video on these babies right here. What can I say? Um, I already told you I'm super happy with the shoe. I like them. Retail is good. Below retail is just amazing for this shoe. Can't go wrong with this one. The black accent right here on the ankle area going all through the eyelets and the toe. Make the shoe looks beautiful. And that white panel with the white midsole. 
beautiful shoe, man. The Bring Low um, outsole also is nice, but this is gonna get hella dirty. That's why I don't really pay attention to the outsole because I'm gonna wear my shoes. I wear all my shoes. Don't be afraid to wear your shoes, man. Like, why? Why should you buy shoes if you ain't gonna wear them? You know what I'm talking about? And talking about uh, wearing the shoe, this one look hella good on feet, like hella good on feet. For this one, I went through the size, same size I always go for my Jordan ones. That's the size I recommend you to go for. Your true size when it comes to Jordan ones, they fit me really good. The comfort on this one is average. You know, it's a Jordan one. You know what you should expect when it comes to Jordan one comfort. But I like the way they look, and that's why this is my favorite silhouette right here. Next one. Jordan 3s, you already know that. Guys, let me know your opinion about these shoes. Did you cop, did you pass? Let me know, let me know. For me, it was a really dope pickup. I love it, and I'm gonna stay with this one in my collection, and I'm gonna try to get another one to keep them on ice, but when the shoe goes on sale, because it is what it is. Thank you guys a lot for watching this video. Let me know your opinion about it. Subscribe for more content like this, and if you want to know more about me and my content outside of YouTube, make sure to follow me right here on my Instagram, Jason J Cakes. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like shock drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. You're going to know about that right here on my Instagram, Jason J Cakes. Thank you again for watching and till the next one. Goodbye.